Well, it's that time again where we introduce you to our Salute to Service honoree. Each month we spotlight one of our men and women in uniform who continues to make a difference in the community. Here's News Channel 6's Brandon Dawson with the story. Thank you very much. And this month we had the honor of speaking with Edgar Losada. It's very clear why he's this month's Salute to Service honoree. Edgar Losada served his country with pride and his other mission in life is to help others. So I joined the military army branch in 2002. Uh, well, my first duty station was in Alaska. I was active duty at the time. And then from Alaska, I moved to Fort Eisenhower, or go Fort Gordon back in the day, now Fort Eisenhower. And then uh, 2010, I got out from active duty, stayed in the reserve. I was able to stay within some of the units around the area. And uh, 2016, I was able to go back as an active duty again with the Army Reserve to become a career counselor and help out the soldiers with their career field. It was important for Edgar to serve. My father served in the military uh, on my early age, so it was always indulged into me, so I always wanted to serve. And now Edgar loves that he's able to help other soldiers. Soldiers that I help out with the career field, they kind of lost of what they really want to do. And now I always get like a counseling with them and sit down with them and ask them of what they want, really want to do in their life. So part of my career field is help them out to achieve that goal and they'll be able to serve longer. Edgar is known for helping others and supporting his family with their passions as well. My wife, she's a Spanish teacher and so I help her out. She has a cultural lesson with the students, so I help her out. And one of the things she came up was with dancing because I like to dance. So we go and teach the kids on how to dance. It's something important for the kids to learn all the culture. Edgar's list of good deeds is a long one, and he was surprised when he found out he was receiving the Salute to Service Award. So I was kind of shocking. It was a surprise for me. You know, I don't feel like I'm kind of a person that will deserve this because I'm, I'm, I'm not expecting anything whenever I'm helping others. Edgar, on behalf of News Channel 6, WJBF, and Pinnacle Bank, it's my pleasure to present you with the Salute to Service Award. Congratulations. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> now, if there's someone that you know who you think should be nominated for the Salute to Service Award, you can do that on our website, wjbf.com.